hello guys welcome back to a new video and in today's video I've got a very simple and short concept or the displacement and distance difference in our previous video we've looked for the theoretical and the practical reasoning of both of these differentiation and in today's video looking into understanding this by the help of the shape and the problems related to them this is a very short video but that is very wonderful uh, nobody I, I think that has explained the distance and displacement on basis of the shapes yet uh, okay so for this uh, you can do any sort of thing as you want I'm just uh, looking into uh, the the circle sorry let me change yes uh, here is a big circle and right over here we have got uh, what if uh, this is a point A on this plane this is a point A right now what the thing is this thing is this uh, how my question is that how would you find distance distance is a question mark for this circle now for this we have got a simple uh, you know this uh, uh, this is a very very uh, you know simple video but you just get the concept of the displacement and the distance uh, for the distance we have got a simple formula for the distance of the so the area of the uh, circle and the area would be equal to the distance in this case and uh, for this we have got a, f a formula that is uh, distance is equal to uh, 2 pi r no, 2 pi r now for this uh, for suppose let's, um, let's think this this is 2 and the value of pi 3.14 and the r for suppose the radius of the circle is just assume this this is uh, 3 now the answer would be uh, distance is equal to 56.52 centimeter 56.52 centimeter now this is the distance remember this now what about the displacement displacement what about the displacement what do you think uh, the displacement would be equal to is there any formula to find out and all that so I do hope that you have guessed the answer the displacement in this case would be equal to zero now what is the reason behind that uh, if you do look into it uh, the distance uh, the di dis dis displacement is the shortest part between the two points now uh, shortest part would not be equal to 1 you can be remain uh, who has said you to move from the point that would be you are you are you are coming to the back to the same direction again by revolving the circle at the same direction you are uh, coming back so uh, there is no any sort of this would be then distance and this is the same point and this would be displacement so I do hope uh, that you got it like what is there is a huge difference between the distance and displacement and that is clearly uh, verified uh, by this simple video so I do hope that you've got the concept and I would say that you can do the same with the rectangle shape and that is your homework and to take a rectangle take two sides and uh, for the distance you'll be using the formula that is the length plus breadth and for the displacement you'll be looking for the Pythagoras theorem for the shortest distance between the two points uh, let me show you what I want to say about the rectangle first of all this is a rectangle and uh, you will know on this side you will know on this side the distance should be all the part while the displacement from this part to this part this is the shortest distance between the two points and uh, do try it on your own like do root formulas and then put values and you will find that displacement is very less while the distance is a very uh, big and in the, this case the displacement would not be equal to would not be equal to the zero remember this because there is a no uh, sort of uh, uh, continuing to the same point and uh, I do hope that you have got it if you do uh, if you did like the 
uh, video and meet you guys in the next video till that goodbye